Hey guys, Lewis here, and I am very excited to say that we are playing Homeworld Remastered. That's right, it's February 25th, the game has just dropped, and I am so excited to get in. I mentioned months ago that Gearbox was working on the remastered version for Homeworld 1 and 2, and it's finally here. I'm so excited to play it. I'm looking forward to all the little changes they've made. I've been following along with it, trying to keep it spoiler free, but I've been really curious, so they did make some changes. Uh, I did jump into the game a little bit uh, just to test out the recording. It seems to be alright, but the cutscene seems to suffer from a bit of a frame rate drop when I'm recording, so hopefully I can sort that out. But let's just jump on into the first mission, the Carax system. The mothership conducts its final preparations before the first test of the hyperspace core. Alright, let's go on. Alright, here's the cutscene. I'll try not to talk too much, but every now and then I'll be interjecting. 100 years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the Great Desert. Subtitles are on if you guys want to follow an along. expedition was sent. They really weren't kidding when they said they cleaned up the audio and the cutscenes. They, both the audio and the cutscenes look so much cleaner than the original. An ancient starship. Buried in the sand. Oh, uh, there's the Kartoba. Yep, I'm starting to see that frame rate drop again. Hopefully it won't affect the video too much. I'll try to edit it a bit and tweak it, so hopefully it won't happen in the future. Sorry guys. <laughs> it is day one, so there's probably going to be issues with the game itself. That's Deep definitely different right the there. Ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. Because the guide stone in the original cutscene wasn't in a glass case. On the stone was etched a galactic map, and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara. Higara. Our home. Our home indeed. At this point, we are known as the Kushan people, not the Higarans, because we haven't found our home. Yeah, uh, about a week before the release of uh, Homeworld Remastered, I watched all the old cutscenes again on YouTube just to familiarize myself with a bit. But united, this is such a and memorable a massive game. Colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. Uh, there's the scaffold in construction. It would demand new technologies new industries, and new sacrifices. Once again, I gotta say, I absolutely love the homeworld cutscenes. They are just absolutely amazing. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet. There's Karen. Who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. If I remember correctly from the low, the manual, the lore book, it's because they didn't have any way to process the everything that the mothership was the programmed population. to do, so they needed a living medium to translate all those processes. On the true origin of our people. God, Every that's such a beautiful sight right there. construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. Yeah, so the original mothership was a colony ship, because... Cryogenic suspension to house all the colonies, uh, to house all the people that were decided to go on this mission. God, that is such a beautiful sight. Look at that. Gearbox, I have to say, I am applauding the amount of detail that went into the remastered. Although I've heard there ha has been some issues, it is still day one, so hopefully they'll patch it up. But uh, looking at this, it, I have to agree with what the guy just said there. It is a beautiful sight. Look at that. Oh man, this is bringing back so many childhood memories. This is Fleet Command. Reporting mothership relaunch status. Oh man, I love it. Even the song. Uh, I believe it's a uh, Adagio strings. One of my favorite pieces from the original Homeworld. It's such a fitting theme. Subsections A through J online. K through S online. 
Now, I wonder what kind of UI they're going to be working with. I wonder if they decide to do a new UI altogether or keep the original from the first one. Or maybe a blend of something from the first and the second homeworld. Because honestly, I just loaded it up and played through the cutscene and moved around a bit to test the recording, but I never really got far into it. <coughs> and obviously, I have played the game, so I know what's going to happen anyway. But I'm not. I'm gonna try to stay spoiler free, unless I'm too excited and I just start blabbing like an idiot. <coughs> Beautiful sight. I think that's new too. They didn't have the Higarin symbol on the uh, original mothership, the Kushan mothership, anyway. That is a beautiful sight. Look at that. Oh man. I'm hopped up on cough medicine right now, so I'm pretty hyper, plus my own excitement for the game. So, you, you bear with me in my nerd, nerd gasms. Alright, there's our scouts and our resource collector. Let's get started. UI looks pretty good so far. Let's assign our groups. Group 10 designated. Fleet intelligence going online. Harvest. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Group one. Before the hyperdrive test, several trials must be completed. Test construction yeah, those by details. the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. I really like the UI setup. It's really nice. It looks like everything's been condensed ready. down here instead of hotkeys. Although I'm assuming you can still do that. Stand by to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. If I remember correctly, the missions were... Uh, the first mission, anyway, is just basic movement and actions. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's our build menu. That's nice. Oh, so they... Okay, good. They decided to go with the Homeworld 2 style. Uh, if I recall, we are going to need a research. Let's go ahead and start building that. Uh, we'll also be needing a salvage corvette for this mission. Roger. Group 1 copy. So let's see. It looks like they've condensed uh, the formations from the second game and the first game together because here's the delta line x claw wall and spear let's go with spear that's always one of my favorite formations and we'll go aggressive now in the original game the fighters fighter class ships had a fuel bar so you had to be very mindful about sending them out on long drawn out fights group one all right let's move out with them and have us engage those drones. Salvage Corvette complete. Strike group moving into position. Ah, there's our salvage Corvette. Acknowledged. Group 1 reports enemy contact. Roger. Group 3 designated. Ready. Group 1 under attack. Acknowledged. First killing target. Ah, oh, this is bringing back so many good memories of the first game. Not to mention, in the first game, when you build fighters and corvettes, they don't come in little, little squadrons, they came individually. New research available. Research ship complete. Looks like we have our research ship. We have a fighter chassis. Now, I actually don't remember them needing resource. This is for research, did they? Probably using that from the second game. But in the first one, I think it all required was time, really. We excited that to group nine. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. Standing by. Group one reports enemy contact. Well, I already have them in aggressive mode. I wonder if they still have their special abilities. Yep, they do. Here's the scout speed boost. Confirmed. Uses up their fuel. Group one under attack. Group one reporting. 
god, I can't wait. Oh, even Karak looks so good. There's the, the southern and northern polar ice caps. He like bits of their cities in the great deserts. Group one reporting. Ah, uh, I'm nerding out so bad, guys. I'm trying not to. Ready? Oh, that's even cool. I remember in the original, it was basically just Anybody? beams of light, but that oscillating effect they have with the resourcing now, that is awesome looking. Alright, let's focus in on one target. Group 1 has defeated the enemy. Group 1 copies. Strike group moving into position. Back into spear formation and dock. Coming into dock. Let's check the build menu. Anything? Nope. Tactics trial complete. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Yep, just like I thought. And capture the target drone here. <laughs> now I'm wondering if they decide to go with what the original was. Um, uh, let's actually work on Corvette drives for the meantime, because we're going to be needing repair Corvettes. Because those are really good, unless they changed them. I hope they didn't, because they were some of my favorite units. Um, but I'm hoping that Gearbox decided to go with the uh, Homeworld 2 mechanic of resource auto collection at the end of a mission. So that you don't have to worry about missing stuff. But in the original game, you literally had to spend like an extra hour after finishing your objectives just to completely resource the area otherwise you wouldn't get the resources which is unfortunately sucks so what i'm gonna do for the one strike group coordinates locked in what i'm gonna do for the future episodes of this series is i'll set aside some time to just completely resource everything and then i'll make a jump cut to when i actually start playing if that's okay to you guys but either way i'm gonna be doing it this is all gonna be New Corvettes available um, for construction. Group one. Chunk Direct session group recordings too, in. so I'm gonna just be recording it like willy nilly. I'm gonna be no lifing it for the next week or so playing this game. And I can't wait. Alright, let's actually make some repair Corvettes. I will need construction underway. two underway. if I remember to start off with, because I want some heavy Corvettes. <laughs> it looks like they've also stuck with the Homeworld 2 subsystem setup. So you can target subsystems if we so wanted. Ready. Roger. <laughs> that is. I gotta say though, I love the detail on this. Look at this. That's amazing. I also saw an option Roger. called uh, Battle Scars in the options menu. So I decided to turn that on because that looks pretty cool. Repair or the idea of it complete. anyway. Also, I do love how the asteroids are textured now. Before, they were just pretty much brown chunks. This actually like shows like the ore veins and whatnot in the asteroids. That's pretty awesome. I think we're done resourcing completely in this sector, unless there's anything else. Uh, keep thinking this red dot is something. Reporting. Group one. Right, we should be good. Confirmed. Go ahead, grab that drone. Ah, oh, that's so fluid. Yeah, I don't get it. The game itself runs just fine, but when the cutscenes play, yeah, you know, I suffer a significant frame drop. I go from roughly 50 or 40 uh, FPS down to 20 to 15. That's pretty significant. <clears throat> yep, looks like we're done resourcing in this sector, so we're all good. So, I'm just gonna finish up these objectives, actually, Repair before I go in. Ready. I'm on a ship, let's check in. our objectives. Targets of opportunity. Capture the drone, secondaries. Oh. Target drone destroyed. Unfortunately, drone is being sent to the same location. <laughs> Unfortunately, our scouts decide to be overzealous. Successful capture of the drone. Moving to Begin again. Group one, docking underway. Alright, alright. Calm down. Scouts are too over eager. Put you in invasive mode for now. Group one copies. Acknowledged. Yeah, but pretty much once I finish this up, <coughs> excuse me, 
Once I finish this up, I am going to continue playing, of course. Uh, you know what? We might as well put these guys on a... Gr no, we'll put them on defensive. And we'll have them assigned to group 3. Assigned. Look at that, though. Group 1. Let's just mess around with the scouts while we're waiting. Strike group moving into position. Waypoint confirmed. Docking underway. Coming into dock. Acknowledged. I love that. That looks awesome. Refueled up. Confirmed. This should be the last objective for the mission before we hyperspace away. <coughs> Stand by for a hyperdrive test. Internal pressure doors will be sealed in two minutes. Abort system standing by. Hyperspace module fully charged. I am ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good luck, everyone. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. All right, here we go. All right, so that's going to be it for episode one of Homeworld 1 Remastered. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. That is.